Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how to make an adjective clause using who, whom, whose, or that. First of all, remember that an adjective clause is a clause that modifies a noun or a pronoun. Usually it starts with a relative pronoun such as who, whom, whose, where, when, which, why, or that. For that reason, it's also called relative clause. There are two kinds of adjective clauses. The first one is the essential or definite adjective clause because it provides an information that is necessary to identify the word it modifies. The second one is the non-essential or modifying adjective clause because it, it provides a further information about the word it modifying, but the independent clause is clear uh, to understand. Let's get started with who. Who refers to a person? Marco is my brother. He is 61 years old. When I want to make an adjective clause, I can put Marcos is my brother, who is 61 years old. In this case, I don't use comma because this is an essential information to identify Marcos. Using whom. Whom refers to persons too. For example, there are my new friends. I met, I met them in Colombia. When I want to make an adjective clause using whom, for this statement, I want to put my new friends whom I met in Colombia using comma are in USA because I'm giving an extra information about my new friends. For that reason, I use comma. Let me explain another example using whose that refers possession. And you can see here what it means. Number three, she is Maria. She is John's sister. When I'm going to make an adjective clause, I'm going to put she is Maria, whose brother is John. I don't use comma because it, this is an essential information. Number four, using that. When you use that, you don't you need to use a comma. Only when you are using a relative pronoun starting with Y and H. Let me give you an example. They are at the hotel. The hotel is near to the park. When I want to do an adjective clause, I'm going to put they are at the hotel. That is near to the park. And in this way, I made an adjective clause using that. Finally, let me to explain a little bit about using singular and plural verbs and adjective clause. Many people have a little problem in this case, but it's pretty easy because you need to do a subject verb agreement and we need to know that when we are using a singular subject, we need to use a singular verb. When we use a plural subject, we need to use a plural verb form. For example, the student who sits next to me is from Indonesia. Did you see the problem? Of course, because the student is third person, is it's a form verb for the tenth person, but sits 
But fit is a form verb to plural person. In this case, we need to add an S because we need to form a subject verb agreement. Student sits and is. And using the plural form, we can use the students who sit near me are from Indonesia. Remember that a verb of an adjective clause should to be agreed with the number of nouns it modifies. And finally, uh, when you are using an adjective clause, you need to put it as close as possible to the noun it modifies. Thank you for watching.